So this one's uh, is basically about crop circles. And uh, there's lots of different theories about them and stuff. And for me, I, I just find them fascinating. I know like people say that it's just like they're man-made and stuff. And I do believe that some of them are man-made. Obviously, like with the the string and boards just bending the, the wheat over and stuff. But I don't think all of them are man-made because some of them, like they appear too fast. They're too complex. They're massive. It's just, to me, it just, it, it just seems like unfeasible that, that humans could do that that fast, that precise, just with a bit of string and a board. Uh, plus, it's, there's been studies into like the the way that the wheat, it's like it explodes rather than snaps. Like if you just stood on it, it would just snap and bend. Whereas like some crop circles, they've done it and it, it's like the the bit of the, the wheat's exploded and that's what's what's bit like bent the wheat over so it's almost like it was like radiation or something that, that hit them so for me i think it's a bit of both i think like there's some are man-made and some we don't really know uh, and there's there's lots to them like i've i've looked into a lot of them and that and uh, even when i was down at stonehenge recently there was people that were down there uh, like crop circle hunting basically they were out try to find crop circles and stuff, which I thought was quite cool. But uh, there's, like, they, they go back for, like, it must be like hundreds and hundreds of years because I think, like, there, there was, like, an old kind of depiction. Uh, I think it was during the, the Black Plague, like, when the Black Plague hit Europe. There was, because uh, this is quite an interesting story, so it was, like, I think it was, like, a... It wouldn't have been like a newspaper, but it was like a carving or something, like their their version of a newspaper back then. And it was like a guy in like a, a dark hooded cloak with a scythe. And he was like spraying stuff on the fields or something, or he was chopping down like the wheat and making patterns. And it's actually where like the like death comes from, like the kind of like the the picture of death with the, the hooded cloak and the scythe and stuff and it was all today with the the black plague and crop circles believe it or not and uh, there was all different things about it was some kind of guy dressed in black with something that was spraying something over the, the wheat fields that was poisoning everybody and stuff like that and it was leaving patterns in the, the wheat and uh, so it's all kind of linked together and I, I thought that was really interesting and then obviously as the years and years have went on like they've always seemed to be a thing uh, like they've always they always happen they seem to just appear even like up the like the, the folk that the two guys that had, like says that they were doing them or saying they were doing them at night and all that and they tried to recreate some and they, they did all right like did i get me wrong they were all right like but they weren't anywhere near what some of these ones are they're like totally complex and geometric and like perfect kind of thing uh, there's been all different ones like all different patterns and shapes and even messages and stuff i think one had a message on it it was like the i'm pretty sure it was like when they they sent that voyager thing into space and it had the golden disc and it had like a, a all different mathematical things on it and like a picture of like a man and stuff and I'm, I'm sure why the crop circles was like it appeared to be like a reply to that kind of thing, uh, which was quite strange as well. And uh, I'm sure it said so. It showed some other planet, like or some other solar system that the reply was supposedly came from and stuff. Uh, so as it's just this, they're fascinating, and I don't think again it's why they things people say, oh, it's all been like worked out, and it's just like random people that run about the fields in the dark with boards and string and stuff. And again, I think that's just like the modern way. You just write things off because again, there's like it's just there's no there's nothing else. It, it's humans that do everything. Humans are the best, and all, again, it's to me it's just arrogance. 
And I think we need to get away from this kind of arrogance where we think we know everything about everything, when really we don't know anything about anything. It's just all we've got is the best guesses. It's our best guess. That's like, because we don't know for sure about, we do, I suppose we do about certain things, but we don't know everything. Even about certain things, we don't know everything about the certain things. We maybe just know enough to be like certain maybe about it, but we don't know everything about everything. And uh, there was this, this thing too that I watched, it was like a, a documentary and it was, uh, it was really quite an interesting, uh, like I advise you to watch it, uh, I'm pretty sure it was on YouTube, A Field Full of Secrets, I'm sure it was it was called, and uh, it was fascinating for me, it was like the, pretty sure like one of the guys was English and then he had moved to America and then he always wanted to go back because like crop circles had fascinated him. So I went back and they were chasing like crop circles, trying to find them and picture them and document them and examine them and stuff like that. And ended up like, uh, <clears throat> it was like this quite, it was like an eccentric person. Uh, sure, like the, it was like a, a guy who was like transitioning into a woman, so like a trans person. But the, their name was like, I'm sure it was like Nikolai or Nicola, something like that. And uh, they were obviously quite really, really clever, like really, really clever, obviously, like, but really eccentric as well. And I think most clever people are quite eccentric, to be fair. But they, they had got together, and what they were doing was they took like a, that Nikolai had took like the, the blue, it was like a, a design for like a crop circle. And then what he did was, him, like that's like a 2D thing, so it's like a crop circles in 2D. And what, what they had done was they turned it into like a 3D kind of like blueprint. And uh, they were getting funding and stuff and they were going to build, like he, like they were saying it was like, like a blueprint for a UFO. So they were going to build like a UFO for a blueprint for a crop circle. And I, I just found it fascinating. And, to me, the 3D blueprint, it did look like mechanical and all they done was just turn the, do, the 2D thing into a 3D thing. It's not like they changed it or anything and it did look mechanical. It did look like some kind of design. Uh, but I think obviously like that it never went anywhere. They ran out of funding and it was obviously, it was obviously quite a complex thing to do. So there was obviously like technical issues with it and stuff. And I think in the end, I think it was the funding that, that they ran out of that, that kind of got them. Uh, but for me, kind of, it got me thinking, like if you think of all these crop circles over the years, we always just look at them in 2D. And I was on about this with Metatron's Cube as well, because we always look at that like a 2D thing. Same with the Flowery Life 2D kind of thing. But it's no, that, that's the wrong way to be looking at these things, because they're like, 3D, 4D, 5D, like they're all in different, it's like a 2D pattern but represents like different dimensions and stuff like that. So it's like we, we shouldn't look at them as just a 2D thing. We should always try and explore it in different like 3D and 4D and all this kind of stuff. And like I wonder, like I don't know if anybody else ever done it like with other crop circles or stuff and turned them into like 3D designs and blueprints because even if you look at what Terence done with the the flowery life pattern he's basically that's like a 2d pattern he's turned into a 3d pattern and then he's he's been able to build all these kind of cool shapes and stuff and cool like what they kind of drone things he was on about and stuff and then it would let you fly you know different kind of like ways and stuff and that's that's all he's basically done is took the flowery life pattern, which is a two D, like design, made it into a three D design, and then used that to to like for his ideas and for his designs. So it does make you think: Are we looking at things in the wrong dimension, kind of thing? Should we be looking at things in f the third dimension and fourth dimension rather than just the two dimension, which is what we we basically look at everything, Faye. like if you draw it down, it's two dimension. Obviously like a crop circle is three dimension because it's done in wheat, but 
when we're looking at the above, like a picture, it's a two dimension. So like a, a third dimension, you're, you're taking it right round. Kind of thing. Uh, but I, for, for me, again, I, I just find it really fascinating. And like I say, that docu documentary, A Field Full of Secrets, like if you're into that, this kind of stuff, I'd advise you watch it if you've not already, kind of thing. It's really, it's a good watch and that, and really interesting. And it does make you think, are these crop circles, is it the UFOs that are creating them, like people say, and they're trying to send us messages and like designs and like technological designs and stuff like that. Almost like with the day, like when people, because I think we'll admit there's something going on, like there's UFOs that are real, whether they're human or alien or just like a different kind of being that's always been on Earth kind of thing, I don't know. But there, there is something going on and people talk about like the gifts, so it's rather than the UFOs crashing, they're like deliberately crashing, so like take it's like gifts, like so we can get technology off them. So it's like an interaction going on between us and them, and maybe crop circles are the same. Instead, they just like crashing, like a UFO or dropping one off. What they're doing is they're they're in, like they're creating blueprints for t like technological blueprints for designs and. Uh, like mathematical equations like encoded into the crop circles and stuff too so it could be like a form of communication between them and us whoever they are like I say I'm not sure if they're alien human or like just like a different like like they're from earth but they're just like a a being that we've no encountered yet we've not been able to for whatever reason we've not been able to see them or or whatever, but now, now we are for whatever reason, but for me it could be like a, a form of communication between us and them, and they could be trying to help us out or guide us in a certain direction, or maybe again that's if they're, they're friendly or whatever, it could be, could be bad stuff they're trying to do as well, I don't know, but definitely it does, when you see these, these crop circles, they are like really complex for a start, they're mathematical, they are like blueprints, some of them, other ones are like equations and stuff about like the solar system and planets and all kind of things, so it's whoever is doing them is at least really knowledgeable about lots of different kind of stuff that obviously they're more knowledgeable than us because if we don't understand the crop circles, what they mean, then they must they must be more knowledgeable than us because if we were if we were that knowledgeable we'd be able to look at them and say well that's exactly what that means and that's exactly what that means but as far as I know maybe I'm wrong but as far as I know that's not the case eh uh, when I mean, you look at like I say they go back as far that that was the, the earliest one I've heard there was like the like the the black plague and the the guy like death with the scythe and all that and so, but it could be gone back for for long before that as well, for all we know, kind of thing. There is even like with crop circles, you've got stone circles, you've got like the, the what's it called, the Naz, Nazca lines and stuff. They're all, so it's not like circles, but it's all designs put into the earth and stuff. And you've got carvings on rocks. And to me, these things could all be tied as like a, a message for, for the past for people in the past or could be like these different beings or whoever, whatever it is that's gone on. It is like a form of communication. Like if if you think of like the, the stone carvings. So that's like people, humans for past, they've carved stuff into stone. And that's like a form of communication between them and us because they've left that there for us to see. So that's like a, it's like a book or whatever kind of thing. So like that's like a communication. It's like a library. The crop circles could be the same kind of thing, just for a different kind of. I don't know what you would call them. Different civilization or different, different beings or whatever again. Uh, but I, it's again to me just a really fascinating topic, and it's one that I've always kind of been into and followed throughout the years and 
like I say, when I found that documentary, I, I just thought that kind of, that was wild. Like it was just like I've never even thought about anything like that. Like you turn in the a crop circle into a three D blueprint and then try to build whatever it was. Kind of like again, it's just it's quite mad. Uh, I really just I wish that I'd done it. Kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I, that that'd been successful because I think that would have been pretty cool. But again because people just write them off all the time and like oh it's just like humans running about in the dark in a field and stuff nobody looks into them as much and nobody's willing to, to do these kind of things to do these experiments and try and build things and try and turn them into blueprints and things so again i think that's just the human arrogance that that kind of holds us back a lot because if we just write it off as that it's just it's nothing then we're, we're not looking into it, we're not thinking about it, we're just like overlooking it because we know everything, we know it all. When really, again, if maybe if we did look into these things, we would find like lots of stuff. It's a bit like if you think of like archaeology, I mean, you could look at a, a bare field and just say, oh, it's just a field, there's nothing there, nothing to see, just a field. But then if you dig down a wee bit, and you find some ruins, it could be Roman ruins or something, then you find out, oh, the Romans were here, kind of thing, and then you start learning, oh, there's Stone Age people were here, Bronze Age people. So it's basically what I'm saying is, like, we should dig deeper with certain things and, again, and look into them. It's, I think we are just too quick at writing it off, and we know best, because we, we've got computers and we're modern and stuff. When I think, like, even we don't even understand for the human, like the history of human past. So I, don't, I, I just wish people would look into things a bit more and especially crop circles. There, there is, to me, there's something, there's definitely something going on with them. And uh, I just really, just really interesting and cool. But again, definitely give that documentary a watch if you like this kind of stuff. I definitely recommend it. It's a good watch. And uh, that's basically this one anyway. So. I'll catch you in the next one.